In this video, we're going to analyze the non-harmonic tones of Bach's Chorale 377, measures 1 to 2. I put the Roman numeral analysis here already so you can see that. Most of it's pretty simple here. It's in D major with two sharps. Starts on 1 here. At the very end, ends on an A chord. And that makes sense as a half cadence from 1 to 5 here, ending on a 5 chord. Above here, I put the pop chord analysis. So. In between many of these chords, the normal quarter note change that we have here, the normal harmonic rhythm of um, a quarter note, is interrupted a little bit by having these eighth notes. And the eighth notes are basically non-harmonic tones. If we look here, for instance, it's D chord, but right here we have an E, not part of the D chord, and we have a G, not part of the D chord. D chord is D F sharp A. So the E is not part of it, nor is the G. And since they're moving in a row in the same direction here, and finally arriving at a chord tone, we know that they have to be passing tones. So two passing tones there. Notice too that they're happening at the same time. You can have more than one uh, passing tone occur at the same time. So it ends up being kind of like a passing dyad, or two notes, right? Here's a chord. And then we have both in the tenor line, this G, and in the soprano line, this E. So it goes, and both pass now. Finally arriving at the next chord. Next one we have going down here is we have a note, a note in between again, passing tone because it's moving down by step to the next chord. So it starts out part of a chord, then we hit the C sharp down by step, and then finally arriving at a chord tone. So we'll label that as well. Notice Bach keeps on having motion go, right? Instead of just quarter notes, there's eighth notes. And they happen in different voices here, the bass, here in the um, tenor and soprano. Over here, it's happening in the tenor again. And it keeps the motion going forward in the music. Also, it connects it better to have these little notes happening in between so we don't jump down by thirds but rather move in smooth motion by seconds. This one again, G, F sharp, E, moving down by step, passing tone. So just a bunch of passing tones. I'm going to label this one in red as well, so we know that it is. And when we arrive there, oops, passing through, that F sharp there. Arrive at our next chord. Passing tone again in the um, alto voice. Now we arrive at the next chord, but everything's part of the chord. No non harmonic tones on the beat here. Again, C sharp here, passing tone. We arrive at the next chord. Passing tone again. So the whole piece ends up having just passing tones, but it sounds interesting. Also note that the passing tones are never happening right on the quarter note start. They're not happening right with the beat. And because of that, these are called unaccented passing tones. Still gives a lot of flavor to the piece, though.